Okay, so we've seen here that if you get a primary alcohol, yeah, uh, and you oxidize it with acidified potassium dichromate, which is orange, so there's my sulfuric acid to acidify it, K2Cr207. Uh, you'll get, first of all, you get an aldehyde. Um, and if you oxidize it further, then you can get a carboxylic acid. So um, this is relates to um, uh, AQA required practical five, okay. Uh, practical five, I think it's five A, um, where you get you, you get ethanol and you oxidize it. Um, now, so here's ethanol. Uh, now, first of all, if you oxidize it a bit, you're going to get ethanol. And if you oxidize it more, you get the carboxylic acid, you get ethanoic acid. Now, how do you, how do you decide, uh, how do you make the experiment work so that you just get ethanol, if you want ethanol, just the aldehyde, uh, or if you, you want to oxidize it fully to a carboxylic acid, to ethanoic acid, how do you do that? Right, so the way you do that is by um, changing the apparatus here. So what we've got here, right, okay, is we've got a pear-shaped flask, okay, um, and you, you, you'd you put in some um, anti-bumping granules into there, and you put your ethanol and your potassium dichromate in there, which is why I've drawn it orange. And you'd have to acidify it. And you'll heat it, okay? Um, right, now as you heat it, the oxidation is gonna happen. Right, so let's have a think about the intermolecular forces in each of these, right? Ethanol, that's got a boiling point of a about 79 degrees C because you have got H bonds in there. Um, ethanol, on the other hand, you can see there's no OH group there, so there's no H bonds, it's only dipole-dipole interactions. It's got a much lower boiling point. It's got pure ethanol, pure ethanol boils at 29 degrees C. And ethanoic acid, well, you've got H bonds in there. That is, um, and that boils, I think, at about 120. Uh, so, right, if you want to get, if you want to, to get ethanol, you use this apparatus here. And what, what's it called? You distill off the product. So what's going to be happening? You heat it up here, okay? Your ethanol is going, your ethanol is going to be oxidized to ethanol. So, your ethanol vapors are going to come up here uh, because they are a lot more volatile than the ethanol boil at 29. Okay, so the ethanol, ethanol vapor is then going to reach the top here. And what we've got here, this thing colored in blue, is a condenser. Okay, this is called a condenser. And you put cold water in there, put it in at the bottom, and it comes out at the top, and it's continually circulating. So any ethanol vapor which goes in here is going to turn into the liquid, and you are going to connect, collect your pure ethanol. It won't be completely pure, but it'll be it'll have some water vapor in it, a bit of alcohol maybe. It's going to be you're going to have ethanol collecting in there and while this happens of course what's going to happen is um, this is going to change color to green okay this will go green because the dichromate has been um, has been now been reduced to the CR3 plus iron there here okay you get a green color there and you get your pure ethanol there and it will smell of rotten apples. 
Okay, if on the other hand, you don't want to get the, um, the ethanol, you want to oxidize it all the way to ethanoic acid, then you use this setup here. And you have your ethanoic acid. You have your condenser set in the upright position. This is called reflux position. You're heating in with reflux. You've got to heat it, yeah? Okay, so what will happen here, heat, is in this mixture here, you are going to oxidize your ethanol, first of all, to uh, ethanol. The ethanol vapor is going to start going up here. But the ethanol vapor, once it gets in the condenser, it will condense and it will fall back down into the pear-shaped flask containing the potassium dichromate. So it, once again, it will come into contact with it will come into contact with the um, with the oxidizing agent, and the oxidizing agent will oxidize it further to ethanoic acid. And of course, what will happen is this will lose its orange color and it will become green because the dichromate has been reduced to the CO3 plus. Okay, so that's how you ensure uh, that you get the, if you want to get ethanol, you use the left-hand diagram. If you want ethanoic acid and oxidize it all the way, you need to get it back, in the ox back into the oxidizing agent. You need to heat with reflux. You want that to fall back into the oxidizing agent. Okay, we'll leave that there.